and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Alright, before we do anything, uh, there is one thing I've just realized that I've completely forgotten to do because people have been pointing it out in the comments. I just realized I should probably be selling these medals that we've been getting. I'm kind of used to later in the game just kind of hoarding them because they're not worth that much, but early on, probably not a terrible idea to get them sold off for the cash. They're pretty much only used for selling. But yeah, I'm just so used to not really bothering with them that kind of forgot that starting out I should probably actually use them. Anyways, today I think we're actually going to check out the DLC areas because, like I've said before, I've never actually gone to the two or three DLC areas before. And I should probably go check them out and see what they're all about. Basically, they're just there to introduce some new characters from the older games. But hey, always good to introduce, or always good to meet new people. All right, so I guess we'll go in order. So let's go to Windswept Falls first. So I believe this is the area. This, yeah, this is the area based off of a new beginning. So we get to introduce ourselves to some new characters. Although in terms of looks, it's kind of bare, I guess. Although, to be fair, that does match the aesthetic of A New Beginning. A New Beginning was, a uh, very much barren for the first part of the game because it took forever to get anything built. But let's go introduce ourselves to everyone. Hi, Hina. God, it's been so long since I've thought about A New Beginning. Like, that was my, what, second Harvest Moon LP? That was, like, years ago, too. God, time really does fly, doesn't it? Hey, Dunhill, it's been a while since I've seen you. I'm not... I don't actually remember if these people ever actually come to Olive Town, or we have to come here every time we want to interact with them. But each DLC also introduced two new uh, marriage candidates, one Bachelor and one Bachelorette, usually from their respective games. So, like, Felissa here is the Bachelorette they picked. Alright, not a terrible choice, I guess. I think they probably introduced the one that was the most popular from each game. Also, fun fact about the description of this on the uh, Story of Seasons website for Pioneers of Olive Town, when they're describing like the DLC, they don't actually refer to a new beginning by name because of the whole like Natsume naming like thing where they can't really use the old Harvest Moon games or the old uh. Harvest Moon name. So it's literally just described as a previous entry on the 3DS. Because I don't think they've thought up a like, new name for the game yet. Just a fun little fact. Alright, but I think that's pretty much everyone. Also, yeah, Neil is the bachelor they picked from a new beginning. Yeah, this area is kind of barren looking. Which, like I said before, does in fact match a new beginning's like beginning, but huh. Alright, not much to do here then. I guess we'll start heading to the other two islands then. But man, it's been so long since I've thought about this game. Alright, let's head over to Terracotta Oasis. Which I believe is based off the original Story of Seasons. Well, quote unquote original Story of Seasons. The one for the 3DS. The one I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't done yet, huh? Kind of forgot about that game. This place does look a whole lot nicer than the last area, I will say that though. I'm not sure why it's desert themed though. I don't remember the town and story of seasons being desert themed. Anyways, let's just introduce ourselves to all the new characters. Huh. Even though I'm pretty sure we won't be really seeing too much of them unless they come to Olive Town. Because I could marry one of the DLC characters, but honestly, I would kind of prefer to stick with the actual main cast of this game, rather than going back to the older games. You know, give the uh, new cast some time to shine. Alright, who lives here? Oh, it's Iris. So yeah, Iris is the Bachelorette we could marry. I actually don't remember too much about her from Story of Seasons. I don't know, for some reason Story of Seasons, like, the 3DS one is just kind of a blur to me. Especially compared to, like, Trio of Towns, which I spend a whole lot more time on. 
Uh, who was the bachelor again? Huh. Oh, it's Rhaegar. Wait. No, yeah, it is. I Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I really don't remember him that much either. Man, I really don't remember that game very well. I need to replay it again sometime. Alright. Well, that's everyone from this town. I think it's only like four people per DLC. Alright, this area looks a whole lot nicer than the last one, but still kind of on the barren side. I think it has to do more with the engine than anything at this point. Alright, let's go check out the final DLC area. Twilight Isle. So this one is based off of Trio of Towns. Yep, it's based off Trio of Towns. Okay, this looks absolutely nothing like Trio of Towns. Hey, Ludus. You are... A lot taller than I thought you would be. You also look a whole lot older, although that might just be the art style. Huh. Not sure why they went with old, like, ruin area, but okay. Let's go see who came over. Yeah, they're kind of just here visiting. They don't actually live here. They have their own, like, trio of towns to live in. Also, Lizette... Oh my god, Lizette, your eyes are way too big. I'm just gonna say that right now. It's actually kind of unsettling. Okay, we're not talking to Lizette very much. Okay, some characters didn't translate as well to the new art style as others. Uh, let's go see who else is here. So we saw Ludus earlier. He's the bachelor. If I could find him, where is everyone? Yeah, I feel like the characters were the uh, main focus of each DLC. The like areas where they live in was kind of a side thought. Huh. All right, let's go find Ludus. And by find Ludus, I mean he's right here. Aloha. Yeah, he's a lot taller than I remember him being. But like I said, that might just be the perspective shift. So we could marry him, but nope. Alright, so I think that's everyone from this DLC area. So that should be everyone, right? But yeah, these DLCs were just inter or like included for free in the PC version, so... Not too much to complain about. It's new char It's like old returning characters that people like. Still, we're probably not going to be doing too much on these islands, so let's just head home for now. Kinda wish they had actually, like, tried to be a bit more... I get- well, no, I guess they're supposed to be, like, little islands they're kinda traveling to, but... Maybe make it resemble the original game a bit more? Oh well. Alright, so anyways, now that we're done reminiscing about the past, let's get back to the present. So tomorrow we should be making plenty of money just because I just sold all my coins. Uh, 4,000, so we should have plenty of money for seeds. You know what? I'm actually going to till another field right now. Let's get a field ready, because I kind of want to get some more money coming in soon. So, let me see. What is our next major purchase? Or, like, our next major goal right now? Uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to get a pet, obviously, but that's going to require more money. Ooh, actually, you know what? I could... Mm. No, I should do the responsible thing. I'll get more seeds first and then buy a pet later. Uh, I would actually appreciate probably getting some more chickens as well. Maybe, like, a couple more chickens soon. Uh, get that egg money coming in. Also, let's continue cleaning out the farm while we're doing this. While we're, like, brainstorming. One thing I really should do, actually, is... Hold on. What do I need to actually repair this again? 15 lumber or 5,000 gold. Alright, the lumber is a whole lot easier to get, so we're probably gonna do that uh, route. I do want to get that bridge. Huh. Why didn't we get this uh, tutorial earlier? But yeah, sometimes as we're farming, we'll just see little odd creatures fly out of whatever we're working on. Once we get enough of them, they'll become actually really important later on. But for now, we can pretty much ignore them until something happens. Okay, but like I was saying, I would really like to repair this bridge so we can start getting across that area as well. 
Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That might be our next major goal is to start expanding the farm a bit. Because even now, we're already starting to, like, reach the edges. Well, no, we still have plenty of room, but I would like a bit more extra space for, like, my crops and stuff. Like I said, I think this western or eastern part of the farm is going to be, like, mostly dedicated to crops and makers. And then the next couple of areas will be more uh, animal-related stuff. At least for now. I'll probably, like, adjust things as we go along. I would actually like to put some effort into making the farm look nice this time. I feel like a lot of the other games where we had, like, more freeform, uh, what is it? Customization of the farm. It kind of tends to descend into some parts of the farm look really nice and other parts are just a giant mess. This time I kind of want to make a concerted effort into making things look uh, aesthetically pleasing. Alright, let's continue breaking these down. Also, yeah, I think I might put the orchard in the next area as well. This area is going to be completely dedicated to just normally growing crops. Whoops. Alright, let's continue cutting down some trees then. Also, wait, which one of these is the one... This is the cherry tree, right? Yeah, that's a cherry tree. It looks different from the other ones. Alright, let's cut down the big trees though. They give a whole lot more lumber for the amount of effort we need to put in them. But I think once we're done here, I'm going to start putting more wood in the lumber maker. And we'll start uh, building up the... Actually, wait, do I already have the lumber? Hold on. No, I need double... I need the double the lumber I have already. Also, I forget if anything good happens from selling, like... Uh, what is it? Selling dishes. Let's just sell a shellfish soup and see what happens. Oh, that's actually one other thing I should probably be thinking about as we're, like, working. Hold on. I should probably be checking out the gourmet's house every once in a while to see what dishes he wants. Because you do get some pretty interesting rewards from uh, doing them. Mostly ingredients, actually, from what I remember. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have donated that for... Ooh. Well, hmm. We already have access to all those seeds, right? Yeah, we do have access to all those seeds. Every time I get a new crop, I want to sell it right away to get access to the seeds. Hmm. Whoops. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm just going to go grab my shellfish stew and uh, give that away. Get a couple of extra crops I could sell. Or if I get... Oh, actually, wait. How do I unlock the seed maker again? I forget. Hold on a minute. Not orcharding. Uh, field work, right? Okay, it doesn't actually tell you, but I think we get that via leveling up. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get the seed maker soon, because yeah, crop levels in this game are actually kind of important. So we basically want to make sure we use the seed maker to use any or use any high quality crops in the seed maker, so we can replant those at higher levels. And just, like, slowly work our way up to really high-level crops that way. But you know what? I think we can worry about that later. Right now, let's just concentrate on what we can do right now. There's time for playing ahead, and then there's just now, where we kind of want to just live in the present. But yeah, I think next major goal, get that bridge fixed, finally. Uh, get myself a pet. Get another chicken and get some more seeds. It's all about expansion, baby. We gotta, like, actually repair our grandpa's farm. Because apparently ever since he, I'm assuming, died... Oh, I should probably stop working soon. Yeah, ever since he apparently died, apparently they just haven't really been doing too much with his farm. Also, you know what also probably help if I got some more grass seeds and planted those as well? We do want a big grass field, but I think I'm going to hold off on that until I get to the next area. It's what, 15 lumber again? Yeah, 15 lumber. So we have... Let me see. We have 7 in storage, I think. We have 7 in storage. We have like 4 being made right now. 
Oh, actually, no. We have enough. Perfect. Oh, I should probably sell this. Oh, uh, do I want to sell? You know what? Let's sell at least one of them. It's usually good to sell at least one of everything you get. I already sold two ups today, right? Or when I I'm pretty sure I already sold the tulips. But yeah, if we ever discover any new crops, we want to sell them immediately for the seeds. Okay, but with that, I think we are done here. Probably should head to bed. But yeah, not a terrible first rainy day. You know what? I think I'm actually going to cook these. Let's uh, get a little bit of food going. We'll spend the evening making some soup and then going to bed. Oh, I should probably take a bath at some point, huh? We have a bathroom at first. We actually have a bathroom starting out for once. I almost never use it because it's a lot more efficient just to make food and eat that instead, but... It's gotta feel nice to take a nice bath in here. There we go. Half an hour for like a heart's worth of stamina. Not that efficient. Food is better. Also, I need to buy furniture. Currently our house is um, a little bit on the barren side. A nice like rug or some furniture would probably help like liven the place up a bit. Alright, bedtime. Also, at some point, we'll sleep under the covers. Listen, it's a video game. You sleep on top of the covers because they don't want to animate you going underneath the covers. Oh, I didn't check town requests today, did I? I could have made a bit of extra money off that. Actually, I should probably also go check my titles because I think there were still a couple that we didn't pick up because full inventory. Hey, Clemens! I... Okay. Oh yeah, it was our first rainy day, so that means we get ourselves a new tool. Is this the first game with a bucket? I think this might be the first game with a bucket. So you know those puddles we've been seeing around the farm that we can't do anything about? Well, now we can clean them up with a bucket. And it's another way to get materials that we're going to need later on, so we're going to want to do that immediately. Like I said, if there are any crafting materials you, uh, materials you pick up, that just means you want to collect them and keep them. I mean, bringing in small businesses would probably help the town. I agree with that. Also, this will, unlo uh, uh, this will allow us to unlock the stupid costume. So yes, I want this immediately. Alright, we'll go check that out once we're done here. Uh, first things first, though. Oh, by the way, right, let's take that out of the toolbox. Or tool bag. Also, my entire hotbar is now nothing but tools. Perfect. Also, I'm probably gonna keep it that way for a while. Alright, let's get to work, shall we? Uh, first things first. Is this done? Not quite yet. A little bit more. God, it is so much more efficient now that we can actually, like, stack items in the makers. You have no idea. Unless you played it when it first came out, then you have a very clear idea. Also, are these done? These are done. Alright, so how many more seeds do I need to buy? Then I need to buy four fields worth of seeds. Also, I'm kind of tempted to keep some potatoes for cooking for now. I should sell them for the cash, but at the same time... I think I'm going to keep a handful on me, just in case. Wait, what? Okay, thank you for the weird tutorial game. I don't know why you decided to bring that up now. Unless, is my inventory full? My inventory's full, that's why. Wait. Oh, hey, we have star potatoes. So yeah, sometimes as you plant things, uh, you might get a slightly different crop than before. I'm actually going to keep two of those. And we'll sell them. I don't think you get specific seeds for star tomatoes. 
But yeah, we'll keep an eye out for those as we're, like, growing other things. Okay. Why can't I pick this up now? Oh. Weird. Okay. Alright, let's continue cleaning up our puddles. Get this out of the way. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't plant my tree here. We might have to chop it down at some point later on, but not right now. Okay. Let's get to watering. Although, at this point, I think we might want to stop expanding the fields until I get a better watering can. It's, uh, gonna take a while to water everything with our current watering can. Or until I get sprinklers and don't have to worry about watering cans anymore. Oh, wait, are these done? No, they're not. For some reason, I thought they were. I could also water the empty fields, but I think I'm going to wait until I actually get seeds in there first. Oh, watering cans out of water. But yeah, I would love to clean up this entire area and maybe, like, put some other areas around the farm to be, like, the wild area where we can gather, like, materials. Even that's not really super necessary later on, but right now these are, or like, these wild crops and trees are kind of our source of wood. And other, like, crafting materials, so we kind of have to have them. Also, are these done yet? No, they're not. Alright, let me grab this. Let me get right bag. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm just gonna put away the things we don't use every day. Which is pretty much the hoe. Another bag upgrade wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, hey, wild onion, yeah, right, bag. Anyways, wild onion. We already have onion seeds, but I'll sell it anyways. Also, is that enough wood now? Hold on. I have... Nope, still not enough wood. We're one short. Okay. You know what? I think we'll do that next time, then. For now, let's head to town for a bit and uh, grab some seeds and check out what the town request is. Should be pretty simple. And as much as I would love to get a dog for the farm, I'll wait for now. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to not check the titles yet. I don't have any inventory space. Okay, so what do we need here? So either five lumber, five iron ingots, or three cloth. Can we make cloth yet? Hold on. What do we need to make cloth again? Because we have the thread, right? Oh, yeah. We can make mortar now that we can get clay, but... Because we have a thread maker. Do we have a cloth make... I don't think we can make cloth at the moment. So I think the easiest one to do out of all of these is the lumber. It's going to set me back a little bit in terms of getting the bridge fixed. Iron is something that's way more important for me to keep. This is tempting, but at the same time... Uh, 500 gold is actually really tempting. Okay, you know what? I think we're just going to give up the lumber because we already have it. There's no point in uh, trying to get the other two things. But yeah, we can't make cloth quite yet. Alright, so what kind of seeds do I want to buy? I need, what, four fields worth of seeds? I guess we can spread things out a bit. Like, hmm. Have we planted... We planted tea already, right? I don't think we planted beans yet. Alright, give me nine beans. Give me... Oh, we could also plant, like... Rice. What do we got here? Uh, rice and wheat. I kind of want to, like, diversify my fields. I know they're not all worth the same amount in terms of, like, finances. Or, uh, in terms of profit. But diversity is fun. So we're just gonna buy... Actually, wait, how much money is this gonna cost me? Never mind! That's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. I keep forgetting in this game, seeds are expensive because they're all one square each. 
I'm just so used to the older games where like you would just get you would just get the entire nine like squares of seeds from a single purchase. So my brain is still like in that space. Okay, in that case, let's uh let's go with so we need what three more? We're gonna have to stick with potatoes and like turnips. I don't actually have enough for another squid or another uh, field. Whoops. All right, well, I'm poor again. That's fine. Listen, I'm playing the long game here. The more money we spend early on, the more money we'll make in the long run, hopefully, unless I'm screwing everything up. All right, you know what? Let's get some mayonnaise made. Uh, let's see. Do I have inventory space? I do. Oh, and you also go donate one shellfish stew uh, soup. Actually, wait. Is there I don't think zero stars is enough, actually, thinking about it. I forget if there is a requirement for how many stars it needs to be. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Okay. Got the items going to donate. And by donate, I mean give away to get money back. Alright, uh, let's get to planting then. Oh. Potatoes, because potatoes are always good. And I guess we'll get some beans in the ground. Actually, maybe I should have done the other square where we can actually see it. I don't think I was thinking too far ahead when I put that tree there. That is our cherry tree, right? I'm pretty sure that's our cherry tree. I really hope I didn't accidentally cut it down, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. But yeah, I think we're also going to put the orchard out of the way as well. Kind of wish... Oh, I'm out of water. I kind of wish this game had better camera control. But no, it's like the old isometric view, so we're kind of stuck with this angle. At least it lets you, like, see past objects if they're in the way, but I just think it looks better when you don't have to do that. Oh yeah, I should probably go fishing soon, too. I would like to uh, keep improving my fishing skill. Alright. Alright, so everything's been planted, everything's been watered, animals are out- er, animal is outside grazing. I think we are good for now. Yeah, we'll have to remake some more lumber, unfortunately, but that's fine. We'll work on that later. So, I guess we'll wrap things up here then. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, uh, we'll continue developing the farm and finish our next town request. So... Till then.